Merry Christmas! A quick message today. Uh, I'm reading from the Zondervan NIV, and if anybody is hostile to the Word of God, you might not want to hear this message. Otherwise, may you be blessed. <clears throat> Acts chapter 19, starting in verse 1. While Apollos was at Corinth, Paul took the road through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. There he found some dis disciples and asked them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? They answered, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. So Paul asked, then what baptism did you receive? John's baptism, they replied. Paul said John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told the people to believe in the one coming after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were the name of the Lord Jesus. <clears throat> when Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. They were <clears throat> about twelve men in all. Paul entered the synagogue and spoke boldly there for three months, arguing persuasively about the kingdom of God. But some of them became obstinate. They refused to believe and publicly maligned the way. So Paul left them. He took the disciples with him and had, dis and had discussions daily in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. <clears throat> this went on for two years so that all the Jews and Greeks who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. God did extraordinarily miraculous, <clears throat> God did extraordinary miracles through Paul, so that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick, and their illnesses were cured, and the evil spirits left them. Amen. Praise Jesus. Romans chapter 15, starting in verse 14. I'm a, I myself am, am convinced, my brothers, that you yourselves are full of goodness, complete in knowledge and competent to instruct one another. I have written you quite boldly on some points as if to remind you of them again because of the grace God gave me to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles with the priestly duty of proclaiming the gospel of God so that the Gentiles might become an offering acceptable to God, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, I glory in Christ Jesus in my service to God. I will not venture to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me in leading the Gentiles to obey God by what I have said and done, by the power of signs and miracles, through the power of the Spirit. 